What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 33 of my FIFA 13 Road to Gold Around the World series. Welcome back guys, obviously last episode it was the um, first episode in which we played the games with the French League 2 squad, which you can just see on the screen just with past there. And um, obviously if you didn't watch last episode, the last game I played in that episode, go, go and watch it. I got a red card, which I didn't think was a red card, but... Um, uh, I'm going to have to go and replace the right wing Tinham, and currently I'm looking for a player on Foothead and I believe I'd go and pick up a um, silver French player and I think he scores a fairly decent goal. I'm not sure if it's in this episode or the next one but um, be stay tuned for that because it's a really, really nice half volley um, from a considerable fur, um, a, like a good, good shot. But um, we're just going to have a quick look at this player here and uh, he plays obviously in the French League too and for a team FC Nantes and it's this guy here playing Clat. I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100% sure on the like French, if it's got some French pronunciation or something. But um, I'm going to pick him up for 300 coins, which is a fairly decent price in the right formation. So we're going to get a bit high chemistry, which has been, I think uh, you can tell there's a bit of an issue now. I think anything below 90 chemistry, um, you can tell that your team isn't as good as it could be. Mainly because they just, they A, um, don't pass it to the player that you're pointing to. Or B, the ball just goes nowhere near the player. And see, the players just don't want to like run into space and stuff, which is kind of frustrating. You want a guy to run and you're like waiting, waiting, and he just stands there. It's like, come on. Um, but um, as you can see there, we got to 81 chemistry, which we're getting a bit high. Obviously, the three midfielders are the things that put the chemistry right down. Um, two of them are in the complete wrong position and formation, and the whole all of the midfielders are in the wrong formation. So that puts the um, uh, chemistry down quite a bit. But um, we go into the first game of this episode. We come up against this guy. He's got a another Barclays Premier League with um, Levetsi in, and uh, it's kind of a decent team. But that was a lovely shot by him. Um, but um, I defend failed to defend this, and uh, Santi Tesoro is going to get an easy goal there in the second minute. He literally just ran down, smashed it with that player there. I wasn't 100 sure, and um, got it. And what the hell? Why do goalkeepers do that? I don't even think. I think that's oh. I got so angry. Why do you need to smash it so hard that you can't run after the ball? But um, that made it 2-0. And you can already tell by this game that uh, it wasn't going well. Um, uh, <laughs> and you can kind of see later. I'm not sure about the result in the end. But um, he, he was a fairly decent player. He just had de a better team. And uh, they had better shooting. As you can see there, Santi Cazorla. Another very nice shot for him to make it 3-0 just before halftime. And... Um, he got kind of frustrating because, look, another lovely ball into Suarez, cuts out inside, and uh, Torre, Yaya Torre, um, headed that in to make it 4-0, and he was an absolute tank during this game, and um, I, I really wanted to pick him up in my BPL team, but I didn't have enough coins, but uh, Vincent Company there gets a red card, which, um, again, I'm not sure if this was a red card, yeah, he did come into me, but uh, I thought it was probably at least a yellow, I wasn't in goal scoring opportunity or anything. But um, a red card, it kind of pisses him off a bit, so it's, I was kind of happy. And it was one of these games where I was just so frustrated that eventually I just, you may see here, that um, I just decided to go and slide in for anything. And this is the goal here. <laughs> Bang! That is a lovely goal for his first goal of the club in the 80th minute. I just decided to strike and uh, hope where that went. But um, it was a fairly nice finish, just outside the box, right foot outside the boot, right into the top left-hand corner. To make it 6-1, yes, 6-1. And um, this guy here... Uh, try to get something back after my shot. He ran out of Levetsi, turned around, come back in, smashed that, and that was a similar shot, making it 7-1. And the game wasn't finished there. Brought my keeper out, and um, yeah, I made it 8-1, 90th minute. Thank God the game finally finished, and um, that wasn't a good game whatsoever. He, he just had better plays. It felt like that um, he just had more pace, better shooting, and better passing. Their balls were going straight to the players. And my defenders are, I think they're actually fairly small players. That Nestor guy is not even six foot, which is kind of bad for a um, defender because um, quite a few strikers are six foot, and especially goal ones who are going to win the headers more likely. Um, it's just, uh, it's not going to help. But uh, uh, we, we just brushed that on the side because that was a bad game. Um, and uh, we go and decide to uh, see. And uh, I eventually, I'm not sure if it's this episode or the um, episode 34. Um, I eventually decided to go and change the team up, but uh, I'm going to look for a new striker because I think I can't think of the player's name I've got in striker at the moment, but um, he was running fairly low on uh, fitness, and it was Dorle, I think, the striker, but I'm going to pick up this Kenyan striker, Olek, I think it is, and he plays, um, I think he's got trans he's got two cards out of the mo sorry about that, I keep burping, I just had some squash, um, but um, I've got, he's got uh, 
two cards out. I think one um, for a different club. I'm not quite sure of the club. But uh, I'll go and pick him up uh, in the four. I'm not sure if I do pick him up in the 4 3 3. Uh, I don't think I do. I'll go and pick up the cheapest one. But I'll go and pick him up. Um, maybe because look at his pace. Um, oh, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> I think he's got at least 90 pace, which is nice. Um, 92 pace, uh, which is pretty, pretty nice to uh, come up against those goal teams. Show him a bit of pace and see how well they do keeping up with my striker. Um, but we go into the second game. Hopefully you can do a bit better. Um, the team's got 81 chemistry. I'm going to swap this out when he goes down to 78. Which again is not good. Because um, I am feeling the effects of this chemistry. So later on um, in doing this. Um, in doing building the French League 2 team. Sorry. I eventually go and change it. Um, and uh, we actually do have kind of a bit of a more successful season. Um, rest of the season. Uh, make sure you go and tune into those episodes. Which will be coming up fairly soon. Um, because... Uh, we started playing a bit better and uh, getting some decent results. But um, we go into our second game and we come up against this guy called FC Patters. And um, he's got a, I couldn't quite see of that team, but I think he's got a, uh, what's it called, Liga BVA team with a mix of, a, it's a fairly nice hybrid. It's maybe Argentinian, um, not quite a bit of Argentinian players. But uh, he picks up a goal in the 11th minute by Lopez and that was annoying, came off the post. And why did my keeper die for that ball? Um, it didn't make any sense. He just wanted to run after it, but it, um, that that was an annoying goal. And uh, Lopez here to make it two 0 comes inside, and that's going to be an easy finish for that goal striker. He's actually a bit of a tank on this game, um, and I want to go and try him out in my French League One team. But uh, Barzait is going to start off with our scoring to make it two one in the 29th minute there with a fairly nice shot. Um, but uh, I just failed to absolutely defend straight after these. Uh, um, what's it called? Kickoffs. But well, I actually managed to pick the ball up there, go into the attack, uh, um, a counter attack, and Olic. What a strike there by him! That is a beautiful strike near post um, to make it two-two. And I was getting pretty into this game. We're playing pretty decent. And Barazite there. Woo! That was a lovely shot there to get us into the lead in the 48th minute, I believe. And um, he's got some really, really nice shooting on me. He scored so many goals like that. But uh, Milito is going to pick the ball up. And again, another another easy finesse shot into the bottom right corner. Just takes it past my keeper. And um, love uh, that was a good touch by him um, to bring it inside. I just rushed him with my uh, player there. And come on. How can you not say that? That trickled towards you. That was annoying as well. It just, he just doesn't seem to want to react to these balls. Um, but um, we lose the ball there. And uh, I stupidly ran forward with that centre back. I'm not sure if I'm even in control of him. Um, I'm not sure if you did see that, but he just seemed to want to sprint forward. And I was like, what, what are you doing? And just left the space open. And uh, we were doing pretty well and ended up losing that game 5-3, which again, um, this, this team is not doing well. And uh, it eventually came to me that I needed a change. I'd go and try the team out a bit. And uh, this guy was one of those players who didn't want to really freaking up. Why do you, why'd you have to just stand there looking at the screen? Maybe, I don't know. Um, but... Um, he had 51% possession, I had 49, so he had a bit more possession. I think he had a bit more shots as me as well, so uh, um, obviously he probably deserved that win, but uh, I was just frustrated how I went 3-2 and ended up losing 5-3, which was annoying. But um, as you can see here, uh, one of our players had a uh, contract issue, so he just applied a quick contract onto him. And we go and have a look at some more. Um, I'm trying to get the players in the right position. Uh, no, right formation, sorry. And this Diara guy was in the 4-3-3, so I decided to go and pick him up. Um, he did have no contract, which uh, uh, it, what, it didn't put me off mainly because um, I could just apply a contract. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to be playing that many games with this team because uh, I think relegation, it looks like, is going to happen. But um, <clears throat> I just paid him for 550 coins and uh, going to put a contract card on and see what he does. Also look for a new, um, just some new players and um, especially a keeper just because this guy is terrible. Uh, he's like the high, one of the highest rate keepers at, like for bronze players, and he's just really really poor. But um, I think the this um the uh, what's it called French League Two have actually got some fairly decent um, French bronze players, and you could link them up with. There's some fairly overall fairly decent French um, bronze players. You got um, what's he called uh, Benzia. He's a fairly decent bronze uh, French player. Um, you've also got there's a few in forms as well. But you got Benzia. Um, uh, there's quite a few. There's a, I think there's some more players. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna try. I don't know off the top of my head, but uh, they've got some fairly decent pace and decent stats. And there's some quite a few inform cards as well, which look fairly decent. But um, I'm gonna go into the final game of this um, episode, and uh, we're gonna see how well we do. And we come up against this um, guy eventually. Uh, it took quite a long time. I mean, sometimes it seems to take quite a long time to find a game, but I did eventually find a game. 
and the latency wasn't one, but I decided to uh, flicker between green and orange, and I decided that uh, I'm going to go for it. And um, we come up against another BPL team, which I was like, oh great, this is kind of pacey team as well, um, which wasn't too happy, but um, he gets a free kick there, and uh, takes it quickly, passes it into Aguero there, lovely ball, but uh, Aguero, that's going to be an easy finish for that gold. Uh, is it 88 rated striker? Maybe 86, I'm not 100 sure. And that's going to be a fairly easy finish for that goal player. And then um, Suarez here, got a lovely ball into Guerrero. And, oh, God, that was a hideous tackling by my defenders. Uh, I, I just continue, com completely sandwiched him, but completely missed him, if that made any sense. I just ran straight past him. But um, that made it 2-0. And a body, a strike there. Unlucky for that to be saved. I didn't, that looked like it was more of a floater, shall I say. Uh, but um, we get a corner, whip that in. He uh, gets it there by... Olek, he's pretty good in the air as well. Um, I like Dole, I think he's fairly decent as well. He's quite tall and strong. But uh, that made it 2-1. Again, we pick the ball up. Olek here is going to cut inside eventually. Finds an easy gap. And that's going to be a very, very nice finish for him to make it 2-2. So we're coming back into this game just before half time, And um, this is when you don't want someone to score. Because just think about it. Why um, in another second that game's going to be over in, in like a half time, And you could have uh, saved that goal. But... Um, he then decided to maybe go, uh, well, he went AFK, um, well, AFC, should I say, away from the controller. Um, but um, I decided to take full opportunity of these three points I can get. Um, I'm not going not <laughs> I'm not going to keep the score as the same, but he uh, eventually comes back. And um, we do win this game 5-3, which um, I need those three points to try and stay in Division 1 because... Uh, Obviously, staying in Division 1 would be better than going down to Division 2. Well, I don't think it would make much difference, but obviously in Division 1 there is a bigger prize um, at the end for winning it. But uh, we win 5-3 there. Olic getting his hat-trick. And uh, this guy, I'm not sure if he turned his Xbox off or just um, the internet went down for him or something. Um, but um, we end up winning that game. And uh, we go on to have a quick look at the match details. Obviously, he still had more possession than me. And I find it absolutely horrible when someone leaves their control on the floor. Or and uh, you just can't get the ball off them. Yeah, you do everything and they just shield it so well and then you try and tackle them, you foul them and stuff like that. But guys, it's coming to the end of the episode. Remember, if you like this episode, remember to hit that like button, put any feedback, anything in the comments and subscribe for episode 34. This has been Chronic Rush 2. Till next time, adios!